hello you're welcome how to solve this nice algebra problem solution from what we have here let's take the square on both sides that is we have x times square root of x the inside that we have square root of x squared from here then equals to 7 squared on this side and here this square will affect x we have x square then it will affect this square root here so we have square root of x then root x squared from here equals to 7 squared and here square we cancel square roots then what we have remain x square times x times square root of x equals to 7 square from here then here we have x raised to power 1 that is from a raised to power n times a raised to power n which is same thing as a raised to power n plus n here we can have this power that is 2 plus 1 and that gives us x raised to power 3 times root x equals to 7 squared from here. The next step, we can take the square on both sides again. We square this side and also we square this side. That is, the square here affects x raised to power 3. We have x raised to power 3 square then times root x squared equals to here this power multiplies we have 7 raised to power 4 then also this power multiplies we have x raised to power 6 here then times here square cancel square roots we have x equals to 7 raised to power 4 and also here this is x raised to power 1 and this becomes x raised to power 7 equals to 7 raised to power 4 then to remove this power of 7 we raise both sides to 1 over 7 so we have x raised to power 7 raised to power 1 over 7 equals to 7 raised to power 4 raised to power 1 over 7 and here this power multiplies 7 cancel out so we are left with x equals to also this power multiplies and we have 7 raised to power 4 over 7 so here we have the value of x here as x equals to four, 7 raised to power 4 over 7 now let's check if this solution here will satisfy a given problem that is from what we have here we substitute the value of x which is 7 raised to power 4 over 7 then this equation here becomes 7 raised to power 4 over 7 multiplied by square root of 7 raised to power 4 over 7 then square root of 7 raised to power 4 over 7 is this equals to 7 from here then when we apply for the law of indices root a can be written as a raised to power half then this root here we can write it as raised to power half then we have 7 raised to power 4 over 7 then square root of 7 raised to power 4 over 7 then times 7 raised to power 4 over 7 then raised to power half from here is equals to 7 then since this multiply 2 year 1 2 year 2 from here that is what we have here becomes 7 raised to power 4 over 7 times square root of 7 raised to power 4 over 7 
then times what is left here is 7 raised to power 2 over 7 is it equals to 7 from this side then we have seen this here we can sum this power then we have this becomes 7 raised to power 4 over 7 times square root of 7 raised to power this becomes 6 over 7 and uh, is equals to 7 from here then also we can write it as 7 raised to power 4 over 7 times 7 raised to power 6 over 7 raised to power half is equals to 7 from here then this power also multiply 2 here 1 2 here 3 and we have 7 raised to power 4 over 7 times 7 raised to power 3 over 7 is equals to 7 from here then when we sum this power as well we have 7 raised to power 7 over 7 and is equals to 7 so here we have 7 raised to power 1 is equal to 7 of course 7 raised to power 1 is 7 which is equal to 7 so left hand side equals to right hand side and hence from here we conclude that 7 raised to power 4 over 7 satisfies this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now